Question number seven, Bergen County Academy's admission test practice sheet. Which of the following fractions is equal to 2%? 2 percent? Two percent means two over a hundred. Per means over and cent is a hundred. So two percent means two over a hundred. So basically we have five fractions right here, A, B, C, D, and E. And I wanna find out which one of these five fractions is equal to 2 over 100. Now, you'll notice that none of the denominators are 100, which means that I need to transform each of these numbers into something over 100 and find which one is 2 over 100. Now, if this question were asking which of the following fractions is closest to 2%, for example, I would need to find each and every one, most probably, and look for the closest one. And we have a problem um, that is similar to what I just said uh, coming up in this uh, practice sheet. Um, here, I want to know which one is exactly equal to 2%. So I don't need to go over all of the answer choices. If I find one that equals 2% right away, then that is the answer. So one thing I could do if, if I don't want to try to take a shortcut, because I'm explaining right now, is try to take each of them. So 5 over 4. Now I want the 4 to become 100. So I need to multiply the 4 by 25. So 4 times 25 equals 100. So 4 times 25 equals 100. That means I need to multiply the 5 by 25 as well. Just like I do the denominator, I need to do with the numerator. So 5 times 25 is 125. So 125%. Now, did I need to do this? Of course not. Because here the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And when the numerator is bigger than the denominator, that means that the answer is going to be more than 100%. Okay? Because if it were 4 over 4, that's 100%. 5 over 5, that's 100%. So if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, like here 5 over 4, that means the answer is going to be more than 100%. And I'm asking for 2%. So definitely A is not the answer. I just showed you how to do this because I am explaining the, the strategy to compare fractions. Um, so on the test, you will not have to look at A at all. So forget about A. Now, let's make sure that we don't have any other numerators that are bigger than denominators. No B, no C, no D, no E. Okay, so let's start doing them in order. I'll start with B. Now, I want 5 over 40 to be something over 100. Now I need to multiply the 40 by what in order to be 100? If I multiply 40 by 2, I get 80. I'm missing 20 more, which is half of 40. So I need to multiply by 2 and a half, 2.5. So 40 times 2.5 is 100. Do the same with 5. Do 5 times 2.5. 5 times 2 is 10, and half of 5 is 2.5, so it's 12.5. So B is 12.5%. 12.5%. Not the answer. Okay, let's take a look at C. 1 over 80. Now, I want 1 over 80 to be equal to something over 100. 80 times what equals 100? 80 times 1 is 80, and then I need a quarter of 80, which is 20, so it will become 100. So I multiply by 1.25, and we explained in, in previous lessons how to do this in details without a calculator, of course. So 1 times 1.25, I get 1.25, so the answer is 1.25%. Again, not 2%. Now I'm left with only 2. I'm left with D and E. Okay, let's take a look. Now, let me just take all this away first. We're left with D and E. We already tried A, B, and C. Now for D, 4 over 500. In order for 500 to become 100, I need to divide by 5. So I need to divide 4 as well here by 5. Now. Do I need to calculate this? Of course not, because I know that 4 over 5 does not equal 2, and I want the answer to be 2%, so I don't need to waste time on the test. How about E? 
Well, let's try E. It is probably the right answer because it's the only one left unless I made a mistake somewhere. 1 over 50. Now I want the 50 to become 100. That was easy, times 2. So I need to multiply times 2 up here. 1 times 2 is 2. So the answer is 2 over 100, which is 2%. So the answer is E. Now, on the test, do I need to do all of this? Definitely not. Okay, you should never do all of this. This is going to take so much time on the test. You have very little time, and you can't use a calculator. So what should I do? I should take my time to look at the answer choices. Now, first of all, I need 2 over 100. If I had just taken the time to look at each of these, what, if, what I probably would have thought of was something like this. Um, okay, let's take a look at A. Um... 5 over 4, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, so that's more than 100%, definitely not 2%. 5 over 40, okay, I need to change the 40 into 100. Now that's going to take some time. Let's leave it. 80, okay, it's 1 over 80. Well, I want it to be 2 over 100. Well, if I multiply by 2, example. I get 2 over 160. Tricky questions right? on the test. If I want the 1 they're to become 2, because they're then it must multiply the 80 tricky because you can't use a well. calculator. They're tricky so because 1 over 80 you don't have a lot of time to over you look really closely 160 and multiply find this up and down by you should be 2. Right. Now, I want it to be 2 over 100, and here it's 2 over 160, so it's definitely not C. 4 over 500 is very, very simple. I want it to be 2 over 100. Well, try to make the 4 into a 2. So I'm actually reversing. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the numerators right now. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. How about 500 divided by 2? Well, 500 divided by 2 is 250. And I was looking for 2 over 100, so not D. Now, E is so simple. It's 1 over 50. Multiply 1 by 2, you get the 2. The 50 by 2, you get 100. So it gives you 2 over 100. The answer is E right away. Okay. With very little calculations, I try to figure out the answer as quickly as possible. This is um, one more question, number seven, on the first practice sheet, practice sheet one new of the Bergen County Academy's admission test, practice test.